they say, um, if you get interested in history, you are history. We have a marvelous amount of material going back to uh, the wartime studies of Ansel Keys, a physiologist who founded the Laboratory of Physiological Hygiene. He was drafted to produce uh, survival rations for World War II, and he developed the K ration, which was the most commonly used ration in the war. He's pointing at this chart. It was published in the November 30th issue, 1947, of the Minneapolis Sunday Tribune. <laughs> and it demonstrates right there this transition, the recognition of heart attacks as an epidemic. Thus, the potential, if it could rise rapidly, the potential that it could fall, and it could be prevented. Strikes without warning. Of 10 men, we can expect five to get it. But we can't say who, or when, or why. It's different from the medical view. The medical view is trying to determine how you and I are unique and how our personal risk can be modified. This determines what makes a culture susceptible. We have this physical archive of documents we've preserved, early grant applications, lots of marvelous photographs. Um, we have the website that, that the students are now using effectively, and it's being actually integrated into the undergraduate and graduate curriculum. It's unique. The material is unique. It's not found anywhere else. These early studies of survival rations, of, of cardiovascular health in individuals and around the world uh, were pivotal. They were seminal to our thinking about, about disease and good health. And they've been very influential in our eating patterns and our approach to foods in affecting agriculture and the production and preparation of foods uh, and public policy in many ways. I've been in this institution since June 1953 and all this work started in the late 40s so I'm here pretty close to the origins. It's very interesting at my age now to see that words and concepts and people that were household terms at one time in society are not even recognized. Uh, nobody recognizes the name Ansel Keys anymore unless you're over 60 years old. It's important you hear about the, the old saw of Santa Yana. We're doomed to repeat history if you don't uh, study it.